Hello all, welcome, I hope you are well. Today I will show you a scalping strategy, a buy and sell tactic. The period will be a 3 minute period. So we're going to do it on a 3 minute chart. We will combine 3 indicators. What should we pay attention to when combining these 3 indicators? What are the tricks? I will try to explain these. How can we exit the transactions with the least loss? I will try to explain them with the best of my knowledge, my friends. As I always say, nothing in this training video is in the nature of investment advice. Do not open transactions directly by looking at these, friends, you can get big losses. Thank you in advance for listening to me. With your permission, I move on to our training video. As you can see, friends, a 3-minute chart is open in front of me and we will do our trade on this chart. We will bring up 3 indicators for ourselves. Let's bring up our indicators first, then we will change the input settings. We open LSMA immediately from the indicators section. When we write it as LSMA, it comes out as the least squares moving average here. Friends, then we click once on the MACD, the indicator we all know, in the same way these are also buried. And friends our other indicator is stochastic. As you can see, when we click on the stochastic once, we have three indicators. Of course, we will adjust their input settings. We're going to change the input settings for all of them, let's start with LSMA first. Let's set the length entry to 89, change the color, make it look clearer, make it a little thicker. We set the LSMA setting to 89. Friends, we make the input settings of the MACD as follows. I set the fast length to 5, the slow length to 34 and the other length to 5. As you can see, I click OK. Then we make the stochastic adjustment. This is a setting that I always use in low periods. We use it as 5 and 3 friends, i.e. 5 3 3. And as you can see, I corrected the inputs of 3 indicators. Now which ones create a buy condition for me? I will try to explain these. First of all, the first thing we need to consider is the moving average, friends. So our logic, our strategy is based on the moving average. Therefore, the first place we will look at is the moving average. If the moving average conditions are met, we will look at other indicators. Now our 89 moving average will be below the candles. So the candle should be above first. For later conditions, it depends on the case of MACD and stochastic giving by signals. There are also cases where all three of them give by signals at the same time. Sometimes only one indicator gives a buy signal and we trade with it. What should we pay attention to here? With your permission, I will try to explain them to you now, friends. First of all, let's take our graph back a bit, it would be better if I enlarged it a little more. As you can see now, friends, there is a triple intersection over there, in that candle. The candle is closing above the moving average. At the same time MACD crosses and stochastics crosses. When there is a triple intersection, friends, we are more likely to profit from here. Here, friends, it seems like there is a very low probability of us being at loss. Because both the price rises above the moving average and we confirm this with three indicators. All three intersect at the same time. As you can see, the MACD creates a buy signal when the blue and ochre lines cross on the upside. Stochastic also creates a buy signal when the blue and ochre lines cross upwards. When we look at here, there is no problem with the buy signal of all three. This is our first buy condition. Our second buy condition is as follows, friends, the price is above the moving average, as we see here, there is no problem as long as it is constantly above the moving average. If there are buy signals below the moving average, we need to pay attention to them. For the buy signals above the moving average, we need to confirm the following. 
For example, there is a buy signal here, MACD has crossed here, but stochastic has crossed before. Now we can use a single indicator when prices are above the moving average. How can we use it? If we set our stop loss as a moving average if the prices are already above the moving average. We can enter the trade when a buy signal is received on any indicator. For example, the stochastic signaled earlier here and the price closed above the moving average, then three candles later, nine minutes later, the MACD gave a buy signal. In the meantime, let's pay attention, when the MACD gives the buy signal, if the price is still above the moving average and the stochastic is in the buy condition then we have a buy condition and what happens this time? All three of our basic conditions give a buy signal, but it can also be the opposite. Stochastic would give a buy signal first, then MACD or MACD first, then stochastic would give a buy signal. The important thing here is that the price is above the moving average. As I have already explained here, what happens when three conditions intersect at the same time? When there is a close on the moving average, the MACD crosses and then the stochastic crosses at the same time. We are likely to profit from this, I am not saying it is certain, it is a high probability that we will. Let me show you another example, friends, for example here. Likewise, this time, the MACD crossed early at that candle, but at the time, the stochastic is in the oversold zone. As I just said, what do we pay attention to? We pay attention to the fact that the price is above the moving average. As long as it stays above the moving average, we can trade with the intersection of one, but let's never forget to put a stop, our stop is always tied to the moving average, friends. In other words, if we enter a trade here, a closing below the moving average will stop us. So there is a close below the moving average, which will make us stop. We need to pay attention to this. Let's go back a little further. Now, when we look at here friends, where did it give a buy signal? In this case, the price is not above the moving average, the price is closing above the moving average here, and when it closes here, Friends it makes a closure here as you can see, but you may not be able to see the MACD clearly at that time. Something like an intersection will be more comfortable and healthier if you make your business more secure and enter the transaction after seeing the exact intersection. You see the exact intersection here. After seeing the exact intersection here, friends the MACD is already giving a buy signal, stochastic is forming a buy signal and the price is already above the moving average. We can see that the price has increased as follows, let's give an example. How high is it rising? Also, this is a 3-minute period, let's pay attention to this because in a 3-minute period, do not expect huge profits, but if you are in the trend direction, you can get big profits in the trend direction. There is also a question that is asked to me a lot, here it is asked in the comments section of the video and in private, friends. Sir, does this strategy work on the 15-minute timetable? Does this work on the 5-minute timeline? I get a lot of questions like does this work on a 1-minute timeline, friends, you don't need to ask me about it. You need to understand this. If I tell you it works or if I say it works very well in X period, it is of no use. You have to open this chart and try it there, you have to see it with your eyes, you have to understand whether it works or not. You cannot understand this business with my guidance. Here I give you the trick, I put the fishing rod in your hands and tell you how I use it. You can develop it yourself and use it in a different way. You have to go by improving yourself. You don't need to ask me. See if it works in a 15-minute period, open the 15-minute period with the same settings, let's see if it works or not, you have to decide. It's not mine anyway, not every strategy works equally well on every chart, nor does it work equally on every period. That's why we need to try them, the financial market is where our patience is tested, friends. Let's never forget this. Now, friends, there is a triple intersection here again. Both the MACD and stochastic cross at the same time and, the candle makes a closure above the moving average.
Then comes a candle in the style of 0.50 or even 0.70, close to 0.70, this is a really enormous profit in the 3 minute period. The important thing is that we know where to enter the transaction. And as I said, always do not trade when the price is below the moving average, except for exceptions, there has been an increase as follows. Here, friends, at that time the MACD also intersects and the stochastic intersects at the same time, but you do not need to take risks when the price is below the moving average. If you say you must take a risk, take your risk, but keep your stop close. I take it a little further back, as you can see here. Now, when we look at here, friends, MACD has created a buy condition and crossed upwards. It is below the moving average and stochastic does not give a buy signal. Now let's move our cursor forward and right in this corner the price is both closing a candle above the moving average and the MACD is still giving a buy signal and then the stochastic is switching to a buy signal. As you can see, when all three of them intersect at the same time, the profit rate over there in a three minute period becomes a tremendous profit rate, friends. As you can see, it leaves a profit of one and a half percent. The important thing is to be patient and enter the process from the right place. Don't take risks when the price is below the moving average here or you will lose money by saying let's make quick money. As I said, the main condition should always be the moving average. Take a step according to the moving average, as long as you pay attention to these before opening a trade, you will earn or lose, but even if you lose, you have a strategy out of nothing and you will lose logically. So you will be stopped, it is not harmful to be stopped, friends. Do not think that I made a loss when it stopped. In fact, think of it as maybe you survived a major disaster. If you don't stop, maybe 10%, 20% of the money goes, but when you stop there, 0.15% goes. You will be more profitable, so no strategy works 100%, but as long as you follow the rules, we always aim to save our money and leave with a minimum loss. So how do we get out with the least loss? We do not focus on making money. If we focus on how to get out with the least loss, we'll make money anyway, friends. That's all I'm going to tell you in this training video, I hope you understand what I'm talking about, you will see the benefit. As I said, nothing I tell in this training video is in the nature of investment advice. Everything I say in the video is for educational purposes only. Do not open trades by looking at these, you can get big losses. See you in the next training video, I wish you all good luck, bye, see you soon.